Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name is Andy. This is my little 10 minute window to the rest of the world. And it is springtime. And what my brother and I are doing is we are getting ready to open up Andy Land for the season. We're doing some cleaning. We're also cleaning out the armadillo and all that. So we got the flux capacitor hooked up finally. Come on, let's go to the malt shoppy. <laughs> the malt shoppy. <laughs> but what's special about this year is we're doing a project that I've been wanting to do since I moved into this house. We are finally building my recycling can robot. Yes, Rebot. A robot to take soda cans and just get them out of my sight because that's one of the biggest cluttering messes down here in Andyland is the uh, bottles and cans. So we're finally going to take care of that right now and build our robot. Now what makes this episode worthy is we just came from the store and we bought this. And the woman behind the counter said, oh, you're doing some laundry. And I was like, I was just completely blown away. I had to say yes because it's just sometimes it's easier to be normal. But I was blown away at the extreme lack of ingenuity and thought in people. Laundry? Really? A laundry basket? Do I look like I'm ready to do laundry? Look at me. I, I suppose you could use it as a laundry basket. It's not in this galaxy. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. So yes, we, we have what, a four inch gap here. So we can raise it up. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. The can's gonna go right in there. Right through this head they made from a previous episode. Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. I actually was going to make a robot costume, but I'm making a robot recycling can holder. I don't know. I, I got nothing to do with the weekend where they have off. You know, we never did decide which galaxy this robot's going to be from. If it was Star Wars, Hitchhiker's Guide, or make up our own. The original plan was, I should say, to go with more of a Star Crash kind of 70s Robobop feel to it. I know, what are you doing in the weekend that's so special? See, this is what we've been dealing with. Soon, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be more like those guys. I feel like I'm picking Tatooine here. That's where all the old props go to die. A pair of sneakers. I never found out who sneakers those are. One, okay. Wow, it's, it's perfect, Ken. It's snug. It's snug, yeah. Very snug. I love it. Okay. Is it even? Probably not. Uh, no, but no, but it, it can be. The wheels will make it even. Wow. Love it. You can have a robot in your house. Which one would you want? I can have a robot in my house. Ooh, many sci-fi realms. Initially, we think with R two D two, but you have to learn his language, or at least how he operates. He is very functional, though. I mean, if you could just temperamental, though, too. Yeah, but he's so cool. I always think I would stop and think, what do we really need a robot for? And if uh, I have one around for fun. I still would go with Lost in Space. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> he's not very useful, but. I don't. I mean, as much as I love him, I would never go with Tweaky though. Beedy 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 beedy. No. I think the Hitchhiker's Guide would be way too moody, but he's awesome. I think you ought to know I'm feeling very depressed. Well, we have something that should take your mind off things. It won't work. I have an exceptionally large mind. We need you to go down to the number two entry bay and pick up our stowaways and bring them up here. Just that. I won't enjoy it. Yeah, well, that's life. Life? Don't talk to me about life. If you wanted just a pet, uh, Battlestar Galactica, but what was the dog's name? Oh, Muffet. 
Muffet, yeah. Yeah, Muffet, yeah. Uh, well, yes, I mean. Alright, never mind. You, you nailed that topic. Next. Perfect cut. Yeah, he looks really badass so far. But the cans are gonna see. <laughs> it's like a power turbine. <laughs> Looks dead. Now this is how you recycle. It's no wonder we have the coolest Halloween. This is the actual functioning part. And then that body fits over this. Fun recycling for everyone. I can see this becoming like a, a Boy Scout project or something. If you gotta do it, you might as well make it rock. It's gonna go on just like this person. There's a couple of little adjustments in the back. How's it look? Oh yeah. All right, Ken, who'd win in the fight? Our robot or C-3PO? Our robot. Well, he's got the strength, this one. I agree. We should enter this like battle bots. Hand 2.0. Awesome. Look at this thing. This is enormous, I love it. All right, what's your favorite robot moment in the movie? Wally. Wally. Oh, It's kind of like right up there, but who would you want to be? Yeah, I know. Anything yet? I don't know, I'm stuck on a question. I, would you say that Kit qualifies as a robot? Yes. Okay. He's definitely artificial intelligence. He can process and think. Well, he's a computer. He didn't fall into the humanoid, android-esque thing. But yeah, he's a robot. He definitely has a function. This is awesome. Look at this. The final pieces are coming together. Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh, we gotta get this together, Ken. All right, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I'm coming in with the drill. Oh my gosh, oh, look at him. My name's Andy. And I'm Ken. This is Rebot. The beginning. We'll decorate it some more. In the meantime, good night.